All right, man, that trade by Brad Holmes could be looking a lot better um, real soon. You know, Cooper Cup seemed like he's going to be out at least four weeks for the Rams and maybe even longer if the Rams season keep going in the direction in which it's going um, uh, right now. So, um, so as of right now, you know, Matthew Stafford has been dealing with injury all year. Obviously, it's been hard for them to get over the loss of Andrew Whitworth. And, I mean, you can call it a Super Bowl hangover. Usually, usually you have the hang – usually the losing team have a hangover. What Cincinnati did kind of have a hangover as well, too. Uh, but let's talk about it. Check out the Trey Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all the notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. We go live to our video. Check out the Trey Lions Talk playlist for more videos like this. So, for the most part, it's pretty much looking like, uh, you know, right now they're three and six. So their record is, I think, identical to our record, three and six. Uh, so they right now have the worst record in NFL, and Cooper Cup is out. He is out. So he had a high ankle sprain. That's going to hurt them. I mean, obviously, it's Odell coming back there. I doubt it. Heard they met and had the lowest offer. So, I mean, they said they was going to up the offer. So, I mean, for them, it's not really much um, – it's really not much, you know, incentive for them to, uh, you know, to, to tank. I mean, just to get healthy for next year. I mean, Aaron Donald was literally putting his, put his retirement letter in in the Rams, you know, wouldn't file the retirement letter. So when you always when you are when you already make that decision to say that you retire, I mean, shit, you retired. Stafford's coming off a a, a concussion and the backup quarterback, which they like a lot, they lost to the to Colt McCoy. So, you know, so as of right now, you know, Kelly Stafford complaining about. You know, Stafford and, the, you know, the concussions. They got Cam Akers, who's not happy in his role. He didn't get traded. He didn't get released. So, um, so I mean, as of right now, it could be turning, it could be turning bad for them. You know, if you're wondering, you know, their next game is uh, versus the New Orleans Saints on Sunday. In New Orleans, at Kansas City, going to Seattle. They have not played Seattle yet. The Raiders, the Packers, the Broncos, the Chargers, the Seahawks. So it's not the hardest schedule in the world. You know, I mean, Chiefs and the Seahawks is the three hardest games on the schedule. The Chargers might be healthy by the time they roll them around. So, I mean, it's going it's to be interesting. You know, you look, let's see real quick. Uh, hold on. Let's see, they draft picks. You know, um, So, uh, so let's see. Let's see if they got any. Uh, I don't know, bro. So they have a second, a third, a fifth, a three, a one, two, three, four, four, six, six, six round picks, one, two, three, four, seven round. So they have a second. So they might have some incentives to lose with that second round, with that high second round pick. So. Um, so I mean, I mean, the Lions literally can make a push for the playoffs. And they wanted to have a game about the wild card game, but obviously, more than likely, they're gonna you know spoil that and, and lose to uh, and lose to uh, the Giants and you know, do some dumb stuff. But I mean, when you talk about Super Bowl hangover, usually the winners don't have this type of hangover. Usually they come back stronger next year. They lost Von Miller. They lost Odell Beckham. They traded Robert Woods. They got rid of Robert Woods. Uh, you know, you know um, some key guys. Cooper Cup went down. Allen Robinson, he really ain't really worked there. You know, so, you know, Jalen Ramsey looking old. You know, and this is where, you know, some of them things catch up with them. You know. This is where some of those, you know, um, you know, not having draft picks catch up with you. Young players are cheaper, and it's a, it's a young man's game. It's a young man's game. 
You know, that's what people got to understand. It's a young man's game. Young men are cheaper. You know, they are cheaper. So, um, but, uh, but yeah, you know, it could be, they could be a very high pick for the Lions. So, you know, will they finish in the top five? I doubt it. If they, you know, started to shut down some people, um, like Stafford to get healthy or something like that. I mean, I mean, you look at their division. Uh, are they that far out of, out of position? I mean, they got a high second round. They could have a high second round pick. So you look at their division. Um, shit, they gave a half out the wild card too. They two games in the loss column, you know, out from the right from the Seahawks. So it's still a winnable division. But without Cooper Cup, I mean, Allen Robinson got to step up. Possibly got to get Odell back. And I don't think Odell coming back at this point. It's like the ask Odell coming off an of ACL injury. Um, you know, to come be the number one receiver, you know, and, you know, you know, You know, I don't know, so I, I ain't sure. Honestly, I ain't sure, but uh, but they ain't out. Of, we ain't out of it. They ain't out of it. But losing Cooper Cup and Stafford dealing with a concussion and, and, and dealing with um and dealing with you know the elbow and all that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, but right now, Lions can get, go kind of go for it, get healthy, get Damon to wins back, get DJ Sharp back, hopefully get DeAndre Swift healthy. Maybe they should continue to sit Swift five until he's hundred percent healthy because he's not. And Rod Jamal Williams to Swift get back. Um, but right now, um, you know they can go for it, or you know if they are, they turn out to be bad, and they can turn around and have you know possibly two top five picks. So we'll see how they do it. I mean, the Eagles in another great position, but the Saints keep. You know, falling and slipping. They got the Saints top five. They got the Saints uh, draft pick. So, um, but it's just something to monitor. Something to monitor. So, I mean, you know, I don't know. Lions want to win games. They want to save people asses and all that type of stuff. And I get it. Could have two top five picks. And, you know, I mean, you end up with Will Anderson, end up with Lamar. End up with Bryson, end up with Will Anderson, or however you want to do it. You could trade picks for a haul like Sanford, like San Francisco traded up to. I forget what they traded up with, and have a bunch of picks. You know, so uh, to me, you know, it's kind of kind of interesting prospect that they sitting in. But I think we uh, a long way. I think we a long way from uh, from that. You know, I think Sean McVay is a hell of a coach. And you might you might see uh you might see Aaron Donald reemerge, but it's hard saying when you retired, you know what I'm saying? It's hard saying that and then you know being retired and coming coming out of retirement and playing. You know, money ain't everything. So it is what it is. Let me know what you girls know. I still need to have Detroit Lions talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance of notifications. We go live with our video. Financially, you want to support the channel? Cash out, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Memo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Memo, PayPal. Appreciate the love support. One time for the one time piece.